one of the major ones is, of course, the wheeled solution allows for customers inside those networks to access cleaner, more affordable electricity whilst remaining on the network's grid, right? So that's very important because what that's allowing for is customers to stay happy, customers to want to remain on the, on the network and not leave the network and, for example, construct their own on-site uh, solutions, etc., uh, which reduces, of course, revenues for the municipality. So I think the most key one there is the municipality is now able to offer a competitive um, clean and affordable solution on their network to customers, obviously via a wheeled product, you know, in coordination or working with uh, working with traders and, and IPPs. So I think I think that's a, that's a, that's a very important one. Being point one, point two is you've obviously got this concept of um, energy blending, which I think is important. So energy blending, if you're just uh, a, you know a customer in an, in a municipality and you want to build yourself some on-site solar. You're only able to get, you know, let's call it 20 to 30 percent of your energy requirements from that solar asset, right? So 20 to 30 percent of your power will be green. The balance of the time you will be receiving, you know, what we call in the terminology brown power. So power from the from the network, which is of course, you know, predominantly coal at the moment. So what this what this uh, wheeled solution or product allows for is traders like uh, like in power trading are able to. In the medium term, you know, pull together actual uh, generation. So let's say some some solar, uh, some wind as well blended with that, and that product then is able to deliver renewable penetrations of you know up to almost eighty percent, if not more than that. So you know, for customers and big corporates as well that are that are eager to avoid you know carbon border adjustment uh, mechanism in Europe or, or hit net zero targets by twenty thirty. Or as you've as you've heard before, just frankly want to have green power because that's their preference. This solution, um, you know, allows for for that to to meet those targets. So I think you know those are those are two very important uh, important factors on the customer side. You've obviously got then for the municipality itself some important considerations, kind of linked to the above two as well, which is that without these solutions in place, uh, you know, we've mentioned before that there's there's a kind of uh, off-grid flight that's occurring in the country, right? Which a bit of in the terminology, sometimes I hear people talk about a, muni a municipal death spiral. It's obviously a, a horrible thing to say, but you know, without these kinds of mechanisms to to uh, you know alleviate some of that pressure on customers, customers are incentivized to take, uh, excuse the pun, but the power into their own hands and uh, and uh, just build their own uh, off-grid solution. So I think very important for municipalities to preserve their revenues. Um, by allowing this this um, this wheeled solution and product to to take place in their in their grids, at, at the same time, of course, related to that is this results in job preservation, right? So if obviously we have power still flowing on these networks, you know uh, the the all all the all the uh, skilled workers that are working in municipalities can maintain their jobs because of course uh, the power is, is still on the network and customers haven't left. So I think you know those are. Those are all quite linked together, um, and uh, and very important factors for for municipalities. We believe uh, to to consider.